Rail Jungle with Aftershock, Shield Bash, Conditioning, Unflinching, and then we got Cosmic and Futures. Playing into Belveth here. Matchup, uh, you would hope I would know. Belveth being my most played and all. I would say that if I'm Belveth, I'm going to try to 3 camp bot here, so I think I'll do my 3 camps and then hover into the river. And then even if I don't have a play, like, yeah, it slows down my clear, but not too bad. So long that we kind of entertain interrupting what the Belveth wants to do. Because if the Belveth does not get a lead, then he's not having a good time. Ugh. Come on. Ugh. Nice. And then QW. The Belveth does have a faster 3 camp than me. Oh god, they're already fighting. I'm coming. Into the river. Things are even, but there's no ward. Okay. No Belveth, swiper, no swiping. And the job's done. No real play here either. Belveth would have also shown, like, right here, I think. Love that damage to the camps, man. So weird. It's like Maokai on meth. Okay, now here Belveth has the option to invade me on red. They've seen me on a ward and everything, so... Pull this bad boy to the side. And then we'll just wait. We'll just wait. And then check this out. Q, smite. Oh! Dude! <laughs> okay, it works out. Guess we're not getting invaded. And the lanes are stable. So far, so good. We're kind of conceding scuttle. That's fine. I don't care. end of the day, the Belveth needs a whole lot more gold than I do. Hello. 28 CS. A little bit of a full clear into the Scuttle Crab. Hello. Alrighty, we can reset. So he's in a fine position, kind of hard to gank. Hello. Kind of hard to gank. She had her ignite, but... Yeah, not very clean, but it works out, I guess. Oh. Okay. Blasting one. Back to the bot side of the map. A one for one's not the end of the world. I am a little slow onto the map though, but I'm still learning Rel. Like anyone, day two on the champion being functional in the jungle, but... With the jungling things, like just spending time here, doing a double dip that's like never gonna pay off is just stupid. <laughs> but I wanna see if I can do it. Nice, and E in, he's dead. He's dead, E, moving. Q, auto, moving. Okay, Sona has flash. W! Oh, I didn't get a knockup. Come on, Sona, die. I wonder if I win this. Surely not. Okay. Into a stalemate. I can't shove the wave, big man. There's a cannon. Joke. Nice, and I get a scuttle crab. Okay, EQ, smite. What scuttle crab? Alrighty, and now we want to farm for a little bit. We'll get level 5.5, and, and then the buff will give us level 6, I think. And then with Rails level 6, man, like, the plays just keep happening. I feel like you have a pretty good levels like 3, 3 to 4, and then level 6 is also like super strong because you can spin that ulti so, so consistently where it's only on like a 2 minute cooldown. Blink. Auto. I guess we'll. Missed the W. Okay, clean. No problem. Every ability deals 7 billion damage. And then we're like, even in CS, oh, what are you building? Hearthbound Axe. Belveth, grow up. Watch one of my videos, like that champ's Hearthbound Axe. Come on, what are you going, Stridebreaker? For who? The Vigar? Slam. 
Yeah, blue buff hopefully gives me level 6. I feel like it will put me at like 98%, you know? And then I want to make a, most of my plays in the bot or mid lane. And then protect top lane like when it's time. So right here, the wave's like even. I'm going to go top lane for a little bit. We need to protect Cassiopeia from like this Malphite and then Belveth. Wham bam shazam, you know? Go ahead and move into the river. Oh, jeez. Hello. Q. Auto. E. Auto. W. Oh, she uses W. And now she's protected. That's all we have to do. Nothing too serious. Reset to the bot side. And then... You know what? Nah, I'm not going to delay Demonic that much, but I'm going to do it like this. And then get a control word. That will help me deny the Rift Herald from the Belveth, so... Gonna go buy, get blue, and then look to like intermid. Word the Rift Herald. I don't know. Maybe that's too much because Belvet has to play bot side for a little bit. But then she could sneak the Rift Herald. I should have had a control word last recall. That's my problem. Hurry up, blue buff. We got places to be. Swiper, no swiping. Q. Alrighty, on to the. Onto the map. Okay, Belveth spot. Come on, interrupt her. Okay, no dice. At least she's not taking Rift Herald, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna skip Gromp. how that clear just works out with these autos. Nice. Okay, time for us to do Rift Herald. It would only be Sona roaming. We basically have full control here. And then with doing those camps too, I get my uh, 900 smite if Belveth wants to contest. I can't believe Belveth isn't just, like, immediately on this, too. This guy is... Sheen! Hearthbound Axe Sheen, you're going Trinity? You're stupid. I got bad news, Belveth, you're stupid. Holy shit, Trinity Force, you are out of your mind. Q. Okay, sorry. Belveth has, like, some of the lowest base AD in the game, man. Alrighty, Demonic Embrace coming up. Um, I could try to drop Rift Herald on next wave. See if Vigar gets stupid. I do have Flash. He really has to overreach, though. Okay, nice. Oh, man, I'm dead. Kind of an awkward angle, no? What do I want to do there? <laughs> what do I, what the hell do I want to do? Do I want to flash? EQ? Okay, maybe I flash EQ ulti and then W this way. I still got the Demonic Embrace, it's fine. We denied Rift Herald, it's fine. Just a little bit stupid and slow, no? Uh, question, how's Belveth a level up on me? Um, I'm just going to reset the bot side. It's too slow for me to be top side and then path down. If you die to this top, like, it's fine. It's too slow for them. Okay. They want to dive bot. Oh, whoops. W. Blast cone. Coming. E. Movement speed. Auto. Q. Missed the Q. Exhausted. I'm exhausted, guys. That's so weird. It's all you, Milio. Flip. Q. Nice. 
It's so required for Milio to tank there. Oh yeah, Rift Herald. Go ahead and help push this wave. Boink. Into the dragon I go. Nice, so he's playing safe. My teammates are good. I mean, hey, yeah, we're playing in like Masters GM, but like, I can't believe it. Oh, never mind. Never mind, never give them compliments. Looks like Belveth is just going back to farm. I outsmite by a billion too, so it's totally fine. Oh, careful, careful, careful. You have no Milio. All right, check it out, Q. Okay. And he doesn't even contest the scuttle. This game is just going awesome. This Belveth is so slow, like tempo wise, incredibly slow. I can't imagine playing a game like, uh, like that on Belveth and thinking that I was gonna win. It'd be utterly impossible. We're gonna go Boots Lucidity here into um, the Abyssal Mask straight up. We're skipping Jack's show because they have so much magic damage on their team. And I have double AP on my top side and my bot side deals a lot of magic damage. So I think I'm good to go with the Abyssal Mask. The Bell Vest's not even a factor either. So we don't have to worry about like extra on hit damage annihilating me. Shit, I'm slow. Cassiopeia, I'm coming. Oh, sh Ready. Careful. Aw. Rel CSing sucks, like there's not even a point. <laughs> there's not even a point to stick around. Okay, farm quickly. We got places to be. We got ultis to spend and I'm... I gotta just start skipping the camps and then coming back to them. Hello. Phew. Alright, check it out. EQ. What raptors, you know? Alrighty. Now it's time to farm. Yeah, I really should have skipped red there, because Belveth has that option. It's not going to ruin the game state. It's just bad tempo. Playing these tank champions, you really have to skip a lot of camps. It's like you, whenever the play is happening, you have to go to that play, and then you farm. You can't farm into the play, or your ally is going to pay the price. If your ally pays the price, you lose as a tank, because you have to have the ally. Regardless, we're up so many camps on the Belveth, which is like criminal. Reset. Skip the Gromp. <laughs> skip the Gromp. Go to the Rift Herald. We don't farm no more. Farmer? I barely know her. My team is so fed, too. I can't wait to team fight. Let's do this, girls. I think I'm gonna go top side. Nah, I'm just gonna go into the river. W for the attack speed. Bink. Being in the armored form whenever you enter the river is a little bit better, too. Take less damage. You can frontline a little better. Okay. What are you guys doing? Okay. Oh, Malphite's coming. Don't siege this shit. Really have no follow up here. Whoa, where's my allies? Guys. This is fine. Cute. This is fine. This is totally fine. Okay. This can still be okay. Come on. Oh my god. 
Well, why is no one ever behind me? This is a carry problem at this point. The tank's in front, you're behind, you damage the person now. That's why I don't like playing this champion. <laughs> I said in another video, but like, this, this champion reminds me when I play Vi, it's like, I'm the CC, where's the follow-up? Hate that part, despise that part with all I have, Bob. Hate it with all I have. But you could play it better, you need to pay it to- Yeah, 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 but like, they, you know, every single time I CC the enemy, my ally should play it perfectly. Disagree? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Belveth gets a Rift Herald, what a sham. Can't wait to team fight the team fighting question. Oh, let's do the dragon. Dum Dum's top lane. Trinity Force is dealt 300. Pathetic. That's nothing. Sorry, Malphite, you're not a real champion. Already right, call me when there's a real fight going on. Witson on the Belveth. Right, we got the Abyssal Mask. And Zoe's kind of just waiting for me bot side. And then into the Jack Show, I think. It's definitely going to be like whenever I go in that I'm staying in, I think. Onto like the Malphite and the Belveth since, not the, since that's their front line. I don't think uh, Everfrost or something would really, or even Shroud would really change it. Okay, Belveth, do you want to come lose the game in the bot side? Or? Really nice how there's no Malphite, you know? Belveth's top side. That's weird. I think I'll just try to attack here. Really? You play safe? Okay, it's a mid lane. They are really over diving, huh? Cassiopeia in. Phew! I'm having massive deja vu, I'm freaking out. I've done this before. I've done this exact shit before. W, flip, Q, moving, E. Auto. Not today, brother. W! Bitch! Stupid ass Trinity Force does dealing really damage. Stupid bitch. I think we can Baron, guys. I have Cassiopeia, no? Nah, come on. Come on, do the Baron. Nah, come on. That was mine, but anyways. Oh yeah, we can do the Baron. Oh, hell yeah, we can do the Baron. Very much. Get that bad boy off the field. Whenever Baron's on the field with a Malphite, Ezreal, and Belveth and shit, you know, it's a real bother, so... Very convenient that the enemy totally tossed it. Ooh, smart guy. Because if we do it like this, then I get the XP. And the gold. My allies are good. I haven't played, like, legit. My allies are very good this game, and it, I just, I don't, it's weirding me out. Like a person who, uh, in a relationship where they don't know how to handle their emotions, you know? 
their partner's like, I love you, and they're like, cool. <laughs> it's like, I don't, I don't know how to play with good allies. Nice. Oh, no poke onto Malphite. My champ uh, kind of sucks here a little bit. Auto. Moving. Ulti. Not too bad. It sucks in the sense where like it's hard to do a like a normal engage. Flip. Q. Moving. Auto. Moving. It's fine. They have nothing else. Oh, Belveth doesn't die. It's whatever. I'll be up for dragon. A tank's duty, one for one. Or one for two. Tank players be like, I just died, that's a job well done. <laughs> Good ass play right there. Let's get more ability haste. I can't wait to team fight. Come on, give me a good one on this dragon. I can't wait. By the way, Demonic Embrace, 1000 damage dealt. Her Trinity Force, 768. Trinity Force sucks on Belveth, guys. I promise. This item fucking reeks. A Sheen? No. No on hit damage. No. With everything that Belveth has, she wants an on hit item. Okay. No noobs on the dragon just yet. That's a super bad W. You can't do that. They're not even contesting. Close. Oh, to, t to trade Dragon for my red side jungle. What a trade. Dismount, I think. I'm not sure on this one. Guess that works. I should stop using my ulti like that, though. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. Should I only do grand slams? I'm not sure. Thinking. Oh. Okay, nice. I, I kept tanking. Oh, why did I flip the inhib? Guys, I think I'm stupid. The results are in. Let's try to zone them, maybe. So that my carries can hit. Okay. I missed the Q. Good enough. Gonna continue to back off. Farm my jungle camps real quick before the Baron's up again. Nice paced game. Yeah, see, Opia took my man. I got the Jack Show anyways. This is why Futures Markets own so hard, though. Boom, Jack Show. Easy. I think if I start running Free Boots, then I'll replace Cosmic Insight, not the Futures Market. Careful. Cassio or er, Belvest dead. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You. Uh, maybe I should have flashed, but not really. A random kill under that guy doesn't matter. Dismount for the attack speed. Wow. 150. 150. 150. Wow. Good luck, Belveth. 
like I care, you know? Any damage dealers on the team? Alrighty, GG. That was a really good game. That was a really, really, like, high-quality game. You don't get many of those. And for me to play it on Rail Jungle, like I'm a Moomoo or something. That's kind of the impression I'm getting on Rail Jungle. It's kind of like a Moomoo or Maokai, um, but has more engage potential, has more skirmish potential, but then loses a little bit of, like, terrain control. <clears throat> yeah, not a bad game. Alrighty, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.